Heck, you're in your last semester of high school. I know. Are you realizing this right now? There's one for you. One for me. <laughs> okay. Chancy for what? <laughs> Margarita Jones. Who remembers Margarita Jones? And then you tell them so you sound all wise. And it their friend. Yeah. He runs like a lumberjack. He huh? does. Heck. Like in the movies. Yeah. $21. I know! What's up, guys? So today we're having Taco Bell. I asked you guys on Instagram what I should get. They didn't have the toasted cheddar chalupa, and I took mm -hmm. it personal because we Googled it, and it said <laughs> available now, but not at ours. So, yeah. And they all asked each other questions like, do mm -hmm. we have that still? Oh, we don't have that anymore. Like, what? Isn't it like only like a month old or yeah. two months? I don't know. But anyways, I don't know what I got here. This <laughs> is wrong. This is a supreme, but I don't even see any creme. Oh, there's a creme. Oh, hold on. <laughs> see it? Okay. Um, this is a chicken chalupa supreme nacho fries. We replaced the meat with refried beans. Mm -hmm. I got chips and cheese. Somebody told me to get jalapeno Creamy jalapeno sauce on the side. So I got that. I got a Doritos Locos, Locos Taco. Tacos. Mm -hmm. This is a regular? Yeah, we didn't know. <laughs> it's so little. This is a Midnight Berry. This I'm is guessing it's new. Baja, but I they're small. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is a five layer? Or no, was it a quesarito? This is a black bean quesarito. There you go. Black and bean quesarito. Black bean crunch wrap. Yes. And I'm going to look at my list because I, I don't know what yeah. this is or why that's here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try Let me tell you what I asked for. Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Oh, is it that? This oh, is it. Oh, yeah. Okay. But chicken or something like that. No, this is a Cheesy Gordita Crunch. This is a toast. Well, this should have been a toasted cheddar chalupa, mm -hmm. but it's not. Doritos Locos Taco, Black Bean Crunch Wrap, Black Bean Quesarito, Nacho Fries, Chips and Cheese, Creamy Jalapeno Sauce Side, Midnight Berry, and Baja Blast. There you go. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have this. Where's all the sauces? That's all they gave us? That's it? We should go get the bottle, huh? The bottle? We're going to run out. I have a bottle of this. A fire? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's in the pantry. I'll, think. I'll get it in a little bit. Yeah, when we get lower. Lower in. Because this stuff is so good. Yeah. We, like, go through it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's bomb. It's barbecue -y. All right, let's try this. Pretty good. Why is it good? I usually get puta. I usually get um pinto beans. I'm missing that mm, right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, dipping the chips in there. Mm -hmm. It's a little oh puta. It's a little bowl with pinto beans and with chili on it. Yeah. It's so good and cheese. But it's fine. I was going to buy more cheeses, but we always just let them go to waste. Yeah. Cheesy Gordita Crunch. It's pretty good. I've never had that. I've never had a quesadilla. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. okay. and somebody said get that instead of cheese get guac. It was a five layer burrito. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Personally, I don't like a bunch of nacho cheese, but like, it wouldn't even be a quesarito if I didn't get, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could have got the five layer then. Yeah. No, that is a five layer. No, that isn't. No, that isn't. <laughs> Wait, oh, what? I wanted to get her the five layer, but with beans. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't get that. I don't know. <laughs> Your head's going. Yeah. And I'm reading all these things, trying to write them down, trying to make it even between us. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Well. I know I want, like, can we, like, shove these closer? Yeah. Just like this. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. We're good. There. I'm okay, I'm gonna, gonna have eat to this go get the bottle. I know, I was about to tell you that. Like, this is not gonna be enough. 
So we got, this is like literally the bottle of it. I hope it's the same. I hope so. The hose. They better mm -hmm. not be lying to us. Ooh. Let's see. There you go. Smells like it? Yeah. Should we like put it down so we can dip it? So we don't have to keep pouring it every bite? I wish we had. Oh, I have extra ZZ. So oh. here. I don't know why they both had two. Here's one for you. One for me. <laughs> Okay. Can't see for what? <laughs> Put on my side. Because I'm going to pour it on, you know what I mean? Oh, I, that's smarter. I know, right? Look. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's smarter. We're just like that type of people. Mm -hmm. Like one, every bite. Oh, mm, taste the same. Oh, good. Mmm. Mm Did I dream about Wingstop Ranch? <laughs> I like their nacho fries. Yeah, it's one of our first videos. Yeah, I remember. When they first came out, right? Mm -hmm. I remember because I was homeschooled. And we had to go get the kids and we were like, hurry. hurry. <laughs> yeah, we were in a rush. Did you get a class right now? No, I, I tried to tell you. I'm listening. I know, I'm busy. She's literally obsessed with stocks right now, so I can't get her attention. But, um, <laughs> wow. Mmm. Oh, oh Phenomenal. Never had one? Yeah. But they made it. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Um, it was, um, I have to email my counselor. I emailed her. To open it up? Um, because I have to check with my student petition because I'm still in high school. So, um, I had to email her and be like, what can I do? Oh my god. Can put Pax grades right here? Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. I know. Pump is right there. She, yeah. She's mm -hmm. almost there. She's doing good though. Wow. So Spanish. Yeah, it's just... That teacher is such a pain in my ass. Mm -hmm. I'm be honest. I don't like to blame the teacher, but she's out on maternity leave, so she's not mm -hmm. answering her email, which I, it's fine. But when she did answer one email. Yeah. Um. So I know she's busy, but I know there's a sub, so it's like sub, that sub needs a... Get it on it. Oh, because it's Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, we don't know the reasons. Like, I understand. Yeah. But for me as a parent, I'm, like, trying to get answers. Mm hmm Just for Spanish. That one's always wonky. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised my grades are as good as they are. Pat, you're in your last semester of high school. I know. Are you realizing this right now? Are you like, when I said, oh my God, you're going to have this many classes before you're done. I was like, you're like almost done. You literally have February, March, April, May. I have four months left of high school. <clears throat> Are you sad? Um, yes and no. Like, because I know I'm still going to be here and I'm not even going to college. I'm just talking about like, like life. Going. Oh, yeah. I, I know you're not going because you're like, where are you going to go? Yeah. Jeff is in college, but he just does it from home. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. Like, most of them. Uh-huh. So, I don't know. I just feel like, like, are you sad about prom? Um, I was going to force her to go to prom regardless of who she was with. Uh-huh. Because I didn't go. Because um, a stupid boyfriend told me I couldn't. Jocelyn is planning this thing where all, she said that we have to get COVID tests if we want to come, <laughs> which I'm fine with. Um, they have to show the paper. Yeah, no. Because no. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably just going to be us three, maybe Kaylee, to go to her house and like just do what we want like on prom day and um, just have like our own little, like literally just us. So depressing, dude. I know. And like, I was going to have a, a big bosh for you, but who's going to go? Yeah. And people are gross. Like, mm -hmm. I'm scared. Yeah. I feel like so much is on hold. Oh, everything is on hold. Uh-huh. 
Like nothing is normal. No, 18th birthday? I know. 18th birthday is gonna be poop. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm like, not that I expected to do anything. No, but, but. I don't know, you know? Uh huh. It would have been nice to like go somewhere, like as a family or something. I went to a club with my mom. On your 18th birthday? On my 18th birthday. Because it was 18 and over. Oh, okay. But it was a country um, yeah. club. No offense to you country ears, but it's I'm just like, not a- like, I'm like rap. Uh-huh. Like, I'm like hip hop. And yeah. I was 18, so even more. And I was cute. <laughs> little 110 pound little girl. 107 maybe. Mm-hmm. And all the guys were hitting on my mom. Wow. I was too young for the crowd, and I was, I don't know, and it was a country. They were doing line dancing, and I don't know anything about that. Yeah. My mom was getting down. <laughs> oh, what did she bring me to? So. But then after that, I started clubbing by myself. I literally would go. pre pumba. Mm-hmm. Margarita Jones. Who remembers Margarita Jones? One time, I felt so bad. Somebody invited me out. And I didn't have very many friends, you know? Uh-huh. She invited me out to that club, Margarita Jones. Mm-hmm. It was like hip-hop on one half, and then reggaeton on the other half. Okay. Bomb. And I ditched her for some dude. You're mean. I felt so bad. <laughs> I, I didn't know the etiquette of, like, going out with a girl. Like, I always no, did my own thing, and yeah. I would be like, girl, you know? Mm-hmm. And one day she was like, you want to go to Margaret? I was like, yeah, man, let's go. And then she, we were dancing, and then some dude, like, grabbed me, like, take me out. I was like, all right. And then she was like, dude. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm going to go over here. She was just like, I felt so, like, as an adult, I feel so bad now. Wow. I don't know. No, I know. I feel so bad. If you're if you're young, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. You're supposed to come in with your friends and leave with your friends and you're going to have a good time. Not to go play grab ass. None of that. You're supposed to go, like, girls night. Uh-huh. Oops. I didn't know. I didn't know anything. I had, like, such a dude mentality. Mm-hmm. I mean, you did grow up with boys. Yeah, I grew up with three guys and my dad. I'm like, I don't know. You know? Yeah. So, I felt so bad. After it happened, I was just like, was that mean? Yeah. She never went out with me again. Wow. I have her on Facebook, and I've always wanted to apologize, like, formally. But it's so weird. Yeah. Like, how many years is that? 15 years later? Like, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> She'd be like, <laughs> she probably thinks I'm the worst person, like, mm-hmm. on the planet. You see me running low? Yeah. Clean my bone and... Would you forgive me if I messaged you? There was this other time. Sorry I'm talking so much. Oh, okay. These are like good stories for learning purposes. One time, I had a cousin message me. And she was like ragging on me about her husband. And, mm-hmm. like, how he doesn't love her and he doesn't spend time with her and all this stuff. And he, he's a doctor, you know? Now. Mm-hmm. And um, at the time, I was 19, I think. I was this funky little shit. I didn't care about nothing. I, I, I was know. single. I took care of my own. Like I remember. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And I told her, I was like, don't let some man talk to you like that. Like, mar, 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 mar. And then I remember 10 years later, I felt so shitty. I emailed her. I never got an answer. But I emailed her one day apologizing mm-hmm. that for my stupid, stupid mentality of like a child. But she was a whole ass adult in her 30s talking to like a 19 year old. Yeah. And so like now that I'm 33, I'm like, wow, I would never give that advice now because it's a whole different ballgame when you're married and you have kids and you have a house and your your husband's a doctor and you're just <laughs> sitting at home. Yeah. Whoa, like, dude, don't ever take a 19-year-old's advice. Like, mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. You got to be careful who you, who you, I, I should have just let her vent, but at the time, I was little, mm-hmm. I was like, excuse me? He does what? I don't know. 
Yeah, mm -mm, you can take care of yourself. Like, I was all emp empowered woman, you know? And she's all, like, an, an adult. Like, you can't just be like that. No, you can't just throw your life away and not even consider the consequences. You know, mm -hmm. there are consequences. You can still have that bad bitch mentality, but think things through first, you know? Yeah. Not just, boom, bye. That's how I grew up. Like, bye. Mm hmm Oops. I think I like this one. Talk to me, Pat. About what? I have no stories. <laughs> you know what's funny, though, about your friends is that when they ask you for advice or they're venting to you, you tell me. And then I tell you. And I do know. And then you tell them, so you sound all wise. <laughs> I told, um... That's a good one. That, uh -huh. that hurts. If you're paying attention, and someone tells you, I've been told worse by better. Mm -hmm. That's like a kick in the snatch. It felt good to say it. I was like... What? And then she didn't answer. <laughs> That's like a... Like, once you say that, there ain't no going back. Mm -hmm. Like, if somebody is paying attention. Yeah. Sometimes you're yelling and then they don't hear you. Mm -hmm. But if they're paying attention, you gotta be careful. You know what Tony Beaver said? What? I want, I want, I want you to read it. Oh, I'm getting full. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those fries are phenomenal. Yeah, they are. Sound amazing? Yeah. <clears throat> like my life would be so happy. Mm -hmm. That's the dream. My friend had told me that I should finish my school so I could be a like a therapist online. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Mm -hmm. That's how they're doing it now. Who? There's a lot of therapists that are um, video calls. Oh, I know. I love it. People do it online. Like, I on TikTok, I saw it on TikTok. Oh. Um, they'll, like, record their meetings. Like, some of it. Obviously, ask for permission. But, um, I don't know. It's funny because I got an email from the school yesterday. About? FAFSA? Oh. I get emails about FAFSA every day. I don't know. I get it once a year because I renew it. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what that is. Federal. It's, a. Uh, it's to buy your books, yeah. you know, live your life. Mm -hmm. Federal Pell Grant, that's that. I'm <sighs> in school. Beans, being a chatterbox. I have a I'm lot not of beans. Full, full. No, I'm full. Did you eat your whole thingy? The crunch wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Mm -hmm. These are these are good. Yeah, they They're are. They're very good. Um, this sauce tastes like a Southwest something, huh? Yes. Yeah, like mm -hmm. when you get a Southwest salad. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. The dressing, huh? Mm-hmm. So good. Jeff would like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I would get hella Dorito ones. They're very tasty. What did you want to ask? You said, I'm going to ask the masses. There was something I was sorry I was I was listening but I was trying to remember what you said. I don't know what we were talking about. We were like it was like online, like. Starbucks. Know. What about Starbucks? Was it that? No, I thought it was Starbucks too. It's not it's something else. Why they do something? 
A drive thru Oh, Target. Oh, Target. <laughs> what was it? Um, they make you press the X and put oh it Oh, my combiner. God. Okay, who works in Target pickup? This is what happens to me all the time. Every time. It says to sit in your car, don't roll down your window, Um, show them your phone. It has a four-digit number at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Every time, most of the time, nine times out of ten, yeah. they come up and they're like, can you hit the X? Can you put just got here? Can you put... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they make you restart the whole process, yeah. like, if you just got there. And my thought at first was, like, when you're in the Jack and Box drive through and they hurry you up and then have you go park and yeah. then they give you the food so uh-huh. that way it looks like their time is better. Is that the same thing that happens with Target pickup? Like, yeah. is your time better if you make me reset? So my phone was just spinning today, and she's waiting, and I'm like, it's your, it's your fault. You wanted me to reset the stupid thing. I was losing my mind. Yeah. So I just want to know, like... Target pickup people, is it because you want to reset the time? Because mm-hmm. that's what it seems. Yeah. I don't mind, but today it got stuck, and she's staring at me, and yeah. I'm staring at her, and I'm just like... It was uncomfortable. Yeah, it was. We were just standing there like... Like, I had my stuff ready. I was here. Mm-hmm. You, you wanted me to to <laughs> like reset we don't it. care about waiting, but don't make me reset it. Like, cause then yeah, cause yeah, then cause it then, gets on my stuff. Yeah. Hmm. And then they're looking at you like hurry yeah. up, and you're like, what? you hurry up. <laughs> like you could be throwing my stuff in the trunk. Yeah. Like you, you know, know I had mine. Yeah. I don't know. It was a, yeah. Let me know. Let me know. Clary Johnny's back. Black. I just put these on. They're the gray ones with the pink and rainbow writing. They're like shorts. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they feel cool. they feel good. They they hold my whole tuchus. Mm-hmm. I want to try this. I've never had this. Oh, it's good. Never had it. It's very good. You want a real piece? Yeah. And like when it's fresh, it's she better. she crispy. Uh huh. It's like pita bread, but like better. Very good. Yeah. You should get a chalupa with beans instead of meat. Yeah. One time. Take one more bite of this. Just because we're lagging. This is amazing. Very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know. I feel like the packets are hotter. Yeah. Like the ratio mm-hmm. might be a little bit off. Yeah. You guys, I ordered a spinning ring for like... <laughs> stress and because i'm getting like inner rings whatever so i ordered my usual size six but then like the next day the next morning after i ordered it because i ordered it at night i realized like dude i don't want to wear every ring on my ring finger or um, yeah my ring finger and so i was like okay so i emailed the company and i said hey like cancel my order because it hadn't been shipped yet um and can i get like a refund because i ordered the wrong size and you know they didn't have it in stock so i couldn't even switch it out and so <clears throat> Two hours later, after I emailed them and they never emailed me back, your order shipped. And I'm like, <laughs> and I, so I'm still waiting for this email, hoping they see you, it. You found it, right? What? Because you dropped it in my trunk. Oh, I found it. Puma has it on. Oh, you gave it to her? Yeah. So this is what happened. So then, it shipped. It's here. So I put it on. Doesn't fit. Not even on my ring finger. A size six. This is a size six. And my ring down here is a size six. So why doesn't it fit? So I was like, you know what? It fits small. Whatever. So I was like, oh, I'll send it back. They're like, you have to pay for shipping, blah, 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 blah. Write a note inside that you want a refund, blah, blah. I'm like... I'm telling you. It's not on them. Yeah, but I emailed them before it shipped. I emailed It doesn't matter. It's already processing. The point is, is I emailed them, though. (laughs) So I was too lazy to send it back, so I just gave it to Pumba. But, like, literally $21 down the drain. I wanted a black ring, a normal black ring, and that happened to me. And that happened to me like two years ago. I ordered one. That's expensive. Why'd you buy that? It was 13 but it's stupid shipping. Etsy's like, order $35 from this company, and then you can have free shipping. Like, That sucks because they could literally stick it in an envelope. Remember like Vanessa? Yeah. It wouldn't be that much. I don't know. It, it makes me mad that I paid that much, and it still didn't fit me. And it's like... A size six didn't even fit my usual size six. That's weird. Yeah. I was I used to be a six. Yeah. Like my original ring, mm-hmm. it's a six. So tiny. I could never know. <laughs> Twenty one dollars. I know. <laughs> like I I want a refund, but I can't. Where are you gonna put the more leaves? Um 
Whatever. But I'm so scared. Like, I'm finna throw those away. What? I've been seeing so many TikToks of people's houses literally catching on fire from their LED lights. You don't even I use don't them. I don't even use them that much. Like, I'll use them every now and again. But still. They're not even in use, and who cares? That's true. Like, I don't have them on. Not like you leave them on and leave the house. We're yeah. right here. <laughs> like, we'll be like, you burning candles? No. <laughs> ah! That's it. <laughs> We've got... Oh, my God. One time we were outside. I'm sorry. But we were outside, and we felt, like, heat coming off the house. And we were, like... Because we were all outside doing yard work. So we hadn't been inside for, like, an hour. It was already getting dark. And we felt heat coming from my room. And I was, like... Like, hot. Like, it was... It was hot. Like, we we were so scared. I've never seen my dad run so fast. He had a shovel in his hand. And... Because I said it. Yeah. I wasn't joking. <clears throat> it's because the stucco, the side of your house, like, mm-hmm. the hard part, sucks in the heat when the sun is beaming on mm-hmm. it. And the sun goes down on that side. And the heat was, like... It was... <clears throat> Anyways, the point is... We were like this. Yeah. And you could feel the heat coming off of her room. And I was like, dude, she's burning from inside. Something's happening. And it the bear ran. Yeah. He runs like a lumberjack. He huh? does. Heck. Like in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. It was scary. It yeah. was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> we need to buy a fire extinguisher. If you guys know a website, I leave agree. it down below. Because I don't have one and yeah. I want one. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let me know the color of your chonies. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.